When I knew it from the start Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to the tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create the intro we just saw early on in this video and I don't know if Apple used this to you know intro but I'm pretty sure that you'll use the intro for your company or your for your uh, YouTube channel and it's been a while since I made a tutorial on YouTube uh, because of college and stuff it's nearly been one year I think so so if I sound unprofessional please forgive me and as soon as you open the blender the first thing to do is that to delete the cube and we'll delete the cube add a chores and expand this tab over here and set the major axis to 4 and minor axis minus radius minor radius to 0.15 so that is become thinner and we'll do the same again but set the major radius to 3 same again but set the major radius to 2 so that we get 3 rings like this and now we're gonna import the SVG image now if you don't have a SVG image you can just download on the internet or if you're using the custom made logo then you can just uh, convert the PNG image to SVG so for this tutorial I'm using the Apple logo so I'm just going to import the Apple logo and to import pro, to import you have to press F4 to get that tab this tab press F4 and as soon as we you know imported our logo we have our first problem and that problem is that the pivot point is, uh, is over here and we want our pivot point to be at the center of the logo because if the pivot point is at the center then it would be easier to animate you know to animate the logo and there are two ways to bring the pivot point to the center of the logo and the first and easiest step is to double tap I mean right click on the logo and set the origin to geometry and if the you know pivot point is at the center then it's good but in my case the pivot point is not at the center so I have to do the second step and the hardest hard step and that is to go to edit mode and place the geometry manually at the center and I think this is the center and we'll just move this uh, in that to the center of the viewport in object mode let's just scale this and since it is a SVG image does not have thickness so to add a thickness we'll go to this uh, wire kind of thing and expand geometry and set the extrude to 0 0.005 so that it has become thick like this and if you're worried about this uh, jaggery line or uh, jaggery line of this torus we can just add a subdivision surface modifier and for this tutorial I'm not going to do that we add because it just slows down the CPU and so there you have it you have the logo and three rings and now we have to animate these three rings so to animate we'll just expand the uh, you know timeline and select the one of the ring and press I on I on your keyboard to get this tab I is to insert a keyframe and we'll just insert the rotation keyframe as we are just rotating the torus so select this and the hotkey for rotation is R so I'm just going to press IR I will go to frame 100 and set the end frame to 100 and we're gonna change the transform orientation to local and we'll select this inner part and rotate this in Z axis 20 degrees and the second part Z axis 80 degrees and the third ring I mean torus we rotate this in 250 degrees and we'll anim we'll rotate this in y axis or if you can just uh, rotate this in x axis it's your wish in 180 degrees and press i r so that it places a keyframe over there we we'll do the same to the other two as well so now when you hit play 
we ha will have this kind of to fetch and at the frame 100 what you're gonna do is that you're gonna parent this logo to this nearby ring so select the logo and hold on to shift and select the ring so that and make sure it is highlighted in light orange and press command p and the parent to object so now when you play the ring you know rotates with the i mean the apple logo rotates with the ring and now we have to find a frame where the ring and the apple are in uh, you know the ring is blocking the apple logo so this is the frame we can see that the ring is blocking the apple logo so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna uncheck the camera icon and add a keyframe over here so what this does is that it just uh, does not render the logo itself and at the next frame we just enable the render logo and insert keyframe so that from 0 to 50 the logo will be not visible and after the frame 50 the logo suddenly becomes uh, visible out of nowhere so that it gives the illusion kind of uh, you know uh, thing so it's good for us and now we'll just add a camera and to align the camera to the viewport I think you have to press ctrl alt numpad 0 and because I don't have a numpad over here I have set the shortcut to function F10. So I have added my camera and the only thing is left is that to add a materials and lighting. So for the materials I'm just going to select the Apple logo and go ahead to materials and delete this material. Create new and over here I'm just going to increase the metallic to all the way up and roughness 2.3. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select all the rings and highlight the Apple logo and press command L and link materials so that the, all the elements have the same material as the Apple logo. Now for the lightings, I want you to set the uh, render engine to cycles and set the, set the world trend to zero. Now we're going to add a uh, light. And that's gonna be spotlight we're gonna move this in Z axis or so and uh, before you move anything just uh, remember to set the transform orientation to default and move this in X axis and make this point to the Apple logo like so and now we're gonna change the pivot point over here to 3 cursor and now we're gonna shift D, R and Z and rotate this so that it's place over here and we're gonna increase the strength of the light to 10,000 maybe yeah we set it to 10,000 this one also 10,000 and we'll set the color of this uh, lamp you know spotlight to lightish blue and if you go to window, we get this kind of effect. And boom. There you have it. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, then don't give a thumbs up. It's really your wish. And please subscribe to this channel for future videos like this. Thank you for watching.